recently upgraded my ICOM 7300 to an ICOM 7760. I have that hooked up to my Mercury 3S amplifier. Driving it with 25 watts, I was only getting about 200 watts out. I figured it was a problem with the ALC. So you can see 25 watts is what I have the transmitter set to right now. And if we look at the, the excitation power, testing 1, 2, 3, 25 watts. And testing 1, 2, 3, getting about 930 watts out of the Mercury 3S. And it certainly can do a lot more, but I don't want to smoke my dummy load. Um, so this is with the ALC disconnected. And now I have the ALC connected with the same 25 watts of drive, or what I have it set to. Testing, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three. Testing. I am getting six. Six watts. Testing, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three. And 200 watts out of the Mercury 3S, no matter how I adjust the attenuator pot on the back of the Mercury 3S. So if you look at the 7760 advanced manual, it says that the ALC input level has to be in the range of 0 to minus 4 volts. What I did was I characterized the ALC output voltage um, for the pot at both counterclockwise and fully clockwise, clockwise and counterclockwise on the back of the Mercury 3S. And you actually get minus 7 volts when it's full counterclockwise and you get a little over minus four volts uh, when it's fully clockwise so there's too much feedback going back to the 7760 from the Mercury 3S. I contacted KM3KM tech support and they came up with this nifty little audio attenuator that you can use to attenuate the feedback to the 7760 it's available on Amazon. There it is. We're going to hook it up and adjust it and see how it works. Okay, so the way this works is it goes from red to red. And let's just take a look at the range here. 3 ohms. So full of counterclockwise gives you about 50k ohms. Fully clockwise, less than 3 ohms. So that's the range of the attenuator. Okay, put a couple of ferrites on there for good luck because I had them in stock. And that's what the thing looks like looking at it from the front. Let's hook it up and see how ALC if we can adjust it into the proper range. Okay, the attenuator's in. Fully clockwise on the pot on the back of the Mercury 3S and fully counterclockwise on the attenuator. Testing one, two, three. We're back up to 25 watts of drive. Testing one, two, three. And roughly 850 watts out. 30 watts of drive. Testing, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three. So that worked. Thank you to KM3KM Tech Support. Appreciate your advice. It worked. So there's the 7760, the main unit. And I've got Ham Radio Deluxe operating with the 7760. Hooked up through my MFJ 986 and then I've got the external monitor hooked up to it and I've got uh, the RC28 hooked up and I'm using it for main control 
and I can also use it for sub control. And it works great. Lots of QSOs, and now that I've got the power output issue resolved in the amp, we're good to go.